Hello everyone, this is Jebuck here with Blizzard News. In a recent media post, Blizzard released a slew of information pertaining to the upcoming StarCraft II expansion, Heart of the Swarm. The stage is set after Kerrigan was freed from the Wrath of the Zerg. She's now in human form. She was freed from Raynor. Jim had to kill Tychus to save her. In his mind, all the dealing with the Zerg is over since their queen is now dead. But what actually happened is they split up into smaller clans that Kerrigan is now sinking out. And the biggest question is, are Kerrigan's intentions helpful or detrimental to Jim Raynor and the Terran race? Blizzard did a good job of answering tons of questions that were left after the last mission in the Wings of Liberty expansion, but they also raised ten new ones. The major thing to take away from this is that in the campaign, you'll be using Kerrigan much as a hero, like in Warcraft 3, she will have her own customized talent tree and special abilities. This no doubt means that many objectives will read Kerrigan Must Survive, which will no doubt cause many people to rage in tough spots. Another key feature that is over the course of the campaign, you will be able to change the mechanics of the units. For example, these changes are to Zerglings. You can make eggs and have them act like Terran reactors, or have them have the Protoss ability charge. This is very similar, but yet extremely revolutionary, as compared to the Terran research in Wings of Liberty. Blizzard has been tentative to release more than just concepts. They have no announced date, price, or any major changes to the ladder or units. So this means stay tuned for more updates. This could be in the next few days, or even could be in months or years before another thing about this is mentioned. Another breaking news feed this week, BlizzCon tickets are sold out. That means if you wanted to go, you will either have to pay an ungodly sum of money or settle for the virtual ticket. It's not all bad, though. The stream is multi-channeled, and from first-hand reference, it can be enjoyable to chill with some fellow gamers and relax while watching the stream. Switching gears, Blizzard has authorized and is helping Cryptozoic Comics make a manga-based comic on Blizzard Games. This collection is approximately 160 pages and is free till June 2nd. If you are watching this after that though, and love Blizzard, feel free to help them out. I'm sure this had a tremendous amount of work put into it and won't disappoint. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching this episode of Blizzard News. Be sure to subscribe for more videos. Like this video, stay tuned for more gaming news and playthroughs.